The day of the donkey and her savior. Years before this, the prophets of old spoke of this event. He would come humbly riding upon a donkey. For thousands of years, wise men and prophets described the one who would set all things right. He would heal mankind who'd been overcome by all kinds of sickness and rebellion. It was the promise of God. He would provide a deliverer. Generation after generation hoped for that day. That day began with a donkey, a very young donkey. We know what donkeys are typically like, stubborn. Jesus gave his disciples a small job. On the way into Jerusalem, they should find a young donkey that had never been ridden. It would be in fulfillment of the very old promises given 500 years before. The Deliverer, the Messiah, would first enter that city riding upon a colt. Everyone there that day knew of those writings, yet Jesus fulfilled them more than they could imagine. There is always a first time an animal is ridden. It's usually behind a fence or some similar arrangement. Carefully and slowly the animal adjusts. Many take over a year to fully conform. It's an issue of training and building trust. Those of us who tried this knows that it takes a great deal of time and patience, or the creature would normally go wild and panic. How did the young colt, who still needed her mother's reassurance, even hope to adjust? Did she know? Did she understand? To ride only a few yards for only moments would be a minor miracle. Yet here the colt was being ridden through the packed, noisy streets. The crowd roared, and many were shouting Hosanna, waving palm leaves and throwing down their garments. It was a sea of confusion. Yet the young beast kept her composure where others would not. Peace is the promise of the ages, of the Messiah. This was the promise where all would be set right. The lion and the lamb would lay down together. A child and a snake could play safely. It would be a much different world when the Savior fulfilled his role. That day began with a donkey and a man who knew the mystery had only begun. For together, two souls now rode as one, deep into the very heart of Jerusalem.